yeah, the girls are about to drop. So I got them over here in the OBGYN tank and feeding them some blood worms so they won't be too hungry and eat their babies. And that's November and that is Tiger Mama. This will be November's last batch of fish. After this, she gets to go to the cougar tank, where retired guppy mamas go to live out a life of luxury with yo-yo loaches and garami. Sorry, I was feeding them and probably had a bad shot there. get a good amount. Wait, I'm having issues. There we go. See, over here by the rock. <laughs> they missed it. Yeah, they are very, very boxy. There's Tiger Mama. Oh, she keeps moving. But yeah, here, I'll back out and show you the rest of the tank. This is a little 10-gallon. See all the plants? They'll instinctively, you know, go in there and hide to have them. And then if you're a smart baby, you'll stay in there. And... When, when they're done, I can get the mamas out and take the plants out and get all the babies. Yeah, sometimes, like, I pull, I'm pulling out uh, some babies out of the community tank right now. Uh, I think Trout had a batch, and, yeah, right now I'm at, like, 20, 25 babies I've pulled out, and there's still probably about 10 more. So, yeah, probably a lot of them got munched on. But such is the life of water creatures. And the only other fish in here, there's a baby rice fish I haven't been able to get out because it's super tiny. It might get eaten. I hope not, though. It's evaded things so far. And then, uh, Courtney's clown. Pleco is in there. He's cute, but hardly ever see him. He's nocturnal, so he likes to stay underneath that piece of wood there. The Plecos, they like to chew on wood. It's funny when they poop, it's one big piece of rope. <laughs> All right, let's end this video on that. Hopefully, maybe I can catch some more footage of actual birth. Thanks, y'all.